jacket off her, but you stay standing there, okay? Five years ago when we were just starting out. At the time there was three of us and we were working in a basement design studio underneath a Thai restaurant on Sunset Boulevard. I had stayed late to, to finish sweeping up. Mike was in there working on the first collection. He kind of looked at me and he called me over and he said, hey Nima, you know that someday this is going to be a big brand that's recognized globally and we're going to be in every luxury store in the world and we're gonna be doing runway shows in Paris, and we're gonna pack the front row, and we're gonna have retail stores. And for whatever reason, just the tone in his voice made me believe him. has a lot on his plate. I've always been super impressed by how he was handling everything by himself. Like you have to remember like until two seasons ago, it was just Mike and a couple of graphic designers doing everything from men's to women's to accessories and footwear, which is unheard of. I've never seen something like it. Mike is able to wear the creative director and the CEO hat because he has us. There's nothing you can do without your teams and without your people. We try to make it easy for him. He knows that he has his generals and he knows he can count on all of us so he can focus on the creative when he needs to focus on the creative and so he can focus on the business when he needs to focus on the business. Maybe you, you double the breakdown at the end, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And because it kind of has a build up, it'll go like dun 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 dun. The heroes and the characters that Mike is building, he's putting them into a context, but also a period, a moment of time. So this time we went back to the 70s. Like Mike really wanted from the very beginning to have soul vibe within the show, so we went through different playlists of music and brainstorming with everyone. So it's kind of like a very open dialogue, um, but Mike definitely set the tone. We have at least 10 solid bases on day one, which is insane. No, we'll have 15 bangers by the end. When Mike is casting, he's not necessarily looking for the most beautiful or the most perfect model. He's really looking for someone that can carry the confidence of the character that he has in his head and bring that person to life. When you have a collection that's over 300 pieces and ranges from menswear to womenswear to footwear to accessories, and you have a show where you only have 45 looks to tell that story, I think it's really important for him to be able to lay everything out and see it all at once so that he knows that all his bases are covered, but also that it's a very cohesive story and there's highs and lows and there's ups and downs. There's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. And I think out of these, there's probably 15 to 16. And then by the end of the day, like I want to have like our language of what that's going to look like so we have some uniformity. Yes on three, yes on five. You're going to need 11 once we get into the darker looks, otherwise it's just like all super light and colorful. I drew in just certain belt stories yeah. just to like give you some kind of idea yeah. of how it could kind of, because like this thing yeah. just lifted. Uh -huh. So Mike is very hands-on and very, very involved with the entire process. So it's definitely collaborative and I love it. I find it quite uplifting actually. I like the fact that there's different opinions and different strategies because, you know, it only adds strength. 
I remember one moment where he discussed the way the nap on a suede jacket falls and that it would look more luxurious if the nap were brushed upward. To me, that was such a great thing to witness because it really speaks to Mike's level of detail. The day before the show is the moment when we are doing a final walkthrough with Mike and the team. So it's an important moment because everyone has been working uh, for months on the show and it's the moment when all the team are here uh, to make sure that it actually corresponds to what Mike had in mind and to his vision. That's going to be lit, dude. You guys feel it? Huh? It's amazing. This show at this school now is going to change everything. I said that last time. You said that last time. And it did. Every season. Every season I'm going to say that. No, but this is the one that really changes everything. This was three years ago. Dude, that's three fucking years ago. Three years ago, this was our shoot at the office that we shot this little book. <laughs> Do you want to see the dressing? Do you want to see the styling session? Yo, we've had 15 years of growth in three years. So what does this look like in three years from now? Come on. <laughs> Be in the damn pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and say yes to him. I'd rather this jacket was tighter. Yeah, let's just have her do that on him. Sure. You know what I mean? And I'll live with this because he's taking really good photos. Okay. There's always this sense of how did we end up where we are today? And at the end of the day, even from when we were three people in the showroom with no show to 25 people working in the showroom and doing these massive shows, it still just always feels like a bunch of scrappy kids from LA who are showing up and we have always been a bit on the outside at this level in fashion. That pushes him even further to want to create. He's doing it at a level that I think ends up surprising people. We need to adjust this. He needs a few more holes. He's got a strong walk. Maybe he can also do. You want to try to rotate him? Yeah, have him at five. More important than that right now. Sorry. Oh, this is nice. No? You just try on the shoes early. So okay. you just get used to walking around a little bit. Yeah, sure. Okay? Better, man. You're relaxing now, huh? Yeah. Look good. But you're gonna rotate the guy. We can rotate. You don't care what. Oh, if Alpha's in that, that's gonna be great against this but, guy. Yeah. Dude, Alpha's gonna fucking crush that thing. I don't mind it at all. Dude, we fucking won. So, we need to play. James, we done. We done. That's like our final <laughs> All the looks are final. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. So there's kind of a, a running theme in the company where like, you know, you, you see the light, but you don't know where it's going, but it's sheer work ethic that gets you there. Get there. And I think that's just kind of like rubs off of Mike, you know, like he, he was able to build his company off of sheer work ethic and, and sheer will of making it happen. And when you're at the show and you're exhausted, if you stop going, then you feel it. And you, you just really know, you know, like deep down inside that it's going to end well. When it comes out here, which is fine, but like Zeppelin kind of hits like around here. So she kind of comes in third in Zeppelin. Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh, the walkout was early. First one. You want to practice the first walk? Boom. At, boom. at the base. At the base. At the base. At the base, they're After here. The guitar. Yeah, at the yeah, base, the they're guitar. here. Yeah. 
Right there. It's actually harder than it looks. That first vibe is so important, man. You know what I mean? It sets the tone for the whole shit. Tu vas se mettre exactement où est le caméra en ce moment. Huh? Maybe it's so cute. No. There we go. Do we have the bag? You know how you're walking with this? Like that, it's fine. Yeah, right? yeah. Don't cover too much. I think you just kind of leave it up front. Yeah, right? Let them just swag, you know? It'll, it'll show nicely. Let me tighten this up. Feel good? Yeah. This two in a row for you, no? Yeah. So, so nice. Thanks, man. You make it look better. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that may sound a bit crazy, but I feel this kind of, you know, moment gives Mike and everyone even more energy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I think that's very inspiring and, yeah, it's definitely something very stimulating. It's a very strong stimulus. And you just want to keep going and you just want to do better for the next one. I wish I had something to say, you know, like a little crazy story about what went wrong just before the show starts. But no, it was kind of perfect. Thank you guys. Amazing. Amazing. All of you, amazing. Thank you.